Hey everyone and welcome to Jungle Girl Keeps It Real. Today's video is all about begonias and how to propagate them. The begonia genus contains nearly 2,000 species with new species being described constantly. There are also many thousands of hybrids which have been specifically bred to create spectacular foliage and flowers. Begonias can be found in Africa, Asia and the Americas with the greater diversity of species being located in the tropics. Creating new begonia hybrids is a way to increase the diversity of your collection. It's not difficult to propagate begonias, but there are a few steps involved. Begonias produce both male and female flowers on the same plant. So the female flower is easy to identify by this winged swelling located behind the flower. So this is where the seeds will develop if pollination is successful. Male flowers produce the pollen which can be seen on these stamens. If you turn the male flower over, you will realise that it does not have a swelling. We need to transfer the pollen from the male flower to the female flower and here is where you can pick and choose which species you would like to hybridise. So I've chosen this beautiful Rex begonia flower laden with pollen that I'm going to use to pollinate this female flower on my begonia size amore. You can use a paintbrush to transfer the pollen or you can just pick the flower and just let them have a little kiss. You will know if a few days, within a few days, if you have been successful, as the female flower will drop its leaves, its petals, shall I say, and begin to swell. If it has not been pollinated, then the entire flower will simply fall off. It can take a few days to a few weeks, but eventually the seed pod will dry up and this is when it is ready for removal. So if you remove it too early, the seed will not have ripened, but if you leave it too long, the seed pod will open and the wind will disperse the seed. Just remember that begonia seed is super fine, it's like dust and you need to handle it very carefully. So this pod is definitely ready to have the seeds collected. You need to put it on a clean sheet of white paper and use a pair of sharp scissors to open the pod across the middle. Gently shake the seeds onto the paper. You want to make sure that you remove any bits of the outer pod from the seeds as these can contain uh, fungal spores that could impede your germination. Properly clean begonia seed can be kept for 10 years in the fridge if stored correctly. So I'm going to be planting this seed into a sterile takeaway container which as you can see I have clearly marked with the species from which the pod was collected, which in this case is the uh, Begonia listata. I'm not sure where the pollen has come from so I'm just going to leave an X here which means it is a cross. So in this container I have a mix of sand and cocoa peat which I've taken great care to sterilise. You can lay out a propagating um, mix on an oven tray and bake it for an hour at 200 degrees celsius and that tends to destroy any foreign um, fungal spores or other pathogens and even seeds that might be in your mix. It's easy to plant the seed, lightly sprinkle the dust over the sterilised mix and replace the lid. Your mix should be moist but not soggy. So this little container here, this, this acts like a mini sterile greenhouse and if you place it in a place where it receives warmth and indirect light but no direct sun um, that'll give those little little guys the best chance at popping up. 